hi uh, welcome to another video so for in this video is i'll be explaining to you the our lesson number five in the subject of industrial psychology so our topic that i'll be discussing we will talk about group behavior teams and conflict so appeal so the main purpose of doing this because i want you to realize the importance of of uh, building teamwork, especially if nagtrabaho na ka, especially if you are working. So we need to be mindful that as part of being humans, we have a lot of personality differences. No, we will encounter a lot. Uh, sometimes at some point in our lives, we will encounter conflict, uh, mga arguments, and sometimes maglisod tagsabot sa ubang tao. Okay, so we will. I'll try to. To let you embrace the idea of of understanding our personality differences, especially kung nagtrabaho na ka. So, let's start with group behavior. So, what is the main purpose nga nung ganahan mga grupo? So, in, in psychological perspective, group is defined as two or more people who perceive themselves as a group. Or, kanabang nag-interact mo ba sa usag-usa? So, kung wala mo nag-interact, you are not considered as a group. So, if you are in interacting with another person, o parihasad mo, o perception, meaning, group po ta, because we have, we are in the same direction. So, that is a group. So, Gordon, by the year 2011, believes that a collection of people to be called a group, dapat daw na siya criteria. So, we have the four. I think we have Four criteria, no, nga makaingunta that we are part of a group or appeal to sa grupo. So the first one is the member must see themselves as a unit. Dapat nakita ni mo nga kung, kung grupo ka na, kanang appeal jud ka sa plano, appeal ka sa meeting, appeal ka sa tanan. Meaning, you are working as a unit. Dili mo divided. Okay, the second criteria is the group must provide rewards to its member. So, kung grupo ta, dapat na po yung mga rewards, no? Nga, kanang ma-feel po sa atong member that they are loved, that they belong sa grupo. That's why, kung magtrabaho na ta, na siya yung mga rewards sa kung asa ka nga grupo, kung nindot in yung performance. So, na po yung rewards nga ihatag to make you feel that you are part of the group success. So, kung naikitrabaho, successful, Therefore, not be reward. So it makes you feel that you really belong or the sense of belongingness is there. So the third one is anything that happens to one member of the group affects every other member. So kung unsay mahitabo sa usa, dapat apektado ang tanan. Kung na siyang magtawag ni nato na siyang grupo. Pero kung ang usa, na inihitabo sa usa but you are not affected, meaning you are not part of the group according to Gordon. So, dapat damay-damay na ni, or dapat murag, kung sa ilihok sa usa, ang tanan apektado. Therefore, you are, makonsider ni mo that you are part of the group. So, the last one is, the member should share a common goal. So, kung part ka sa kaninga grupo, dapat pariho sad mo o goal, or pariho sad mo o plano, kung sa inyong plano. So, the question is this, why do we join groups? So, ganun ma-appeal ako grupo? Ganun ganahan ako nga na ako'y grupo? Di ba, lalayat ang grupo na ay grupo sa kanin, na ay grupo po sa ing ani. I know that we love to feel the sense of belongingness. That's why we join groups. So, if nagtrabaho na ka, if you're currently working, the main reason, ganun na asya ay, at paam na sa trabaho noon ay department. So, man asya sa kaninga department na po sila in group uh, group gi group po ang mga members no para ang pag-assign sa trabaho dili lisod so the main reason why we join group is because we need to be identified kana bang ma mailhan ka ba nga taga nga nagtrabaho ka diha that's why you join groups or dili for example kung engineering ko dapat adto ko sa grupo sa mga engineers di ko pwede maadto sa HR nga grupo kay Ang akong na, na associate sa akong kaugalingon is sa engineering department man. So para mailhan ka, para may bawaan ka ah, sa engineering day ka naka-assign. So the second is we join in groups because we want to acquire emotional support. So kana abang ganahan ka nga na ay mo 
kung nag-uul ka, na mo hatag ni mong advices, kung kung naka nang lipay sad ka, ang mga tao pud sa imong grupo malipay sad para nimo. So, we need to obtain emotional support for others. So, puragaan man ang trabaho kung nakay kauban, right? So, that is the mindset. Uh, it's easy to work to something uh, na ay mo tabang nimo. So, that's that's part of giving off emotional support. And the third one is assistance or help. So we join groups because at some point, naji mga trabaho nga din ato kaya. No? That's why we ask help from others. So this is this is very important. No? Nga we join groups because we need the help of other people. We join groups because we need to obtain emotional support. And that is part of being humans because Kung nagtrabaho na ka, dili man tanan makaya ni mo. There are certain projects or aspect ng nga murag maglisod ka. But with the help of other people, with the with the help of their uh, with the help of them, murag magaan ang imong pagpanarbaho. So there are factors affecting group performance. So na yung mga butang no nga ma ma affected ang atong group performance. Number one is the group cohesiveness. So what does it mean? Unsay cohesive? Kana bang Usahay ma, ma ma affected ka kung 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 grabe pud kung grabe na kaayo ang trust sa sa kagrupo nimo ni uh, sa mga kagrupo nimo bahin nimo grabe na ilang pagsalig grabe strong ang inyong grupo kay na may trust and confidence usahay ang in group performance makaingon ka nga nindot kay na may pagsalig pero na po siya downside ang group cohesiveness kana bang kung sobra na sad kaayo ka ka usa na sige na lang depend ang imong kauban no nimo or ang ang ubang ka grupo kay kani nga grupo mulihok man sa so, ubang ka grupo a ah, okay na na sila na lay patrabaho ano murag dili pud maayo so that is the downside kay murag kamulay sige trabaho ang uban wala na no igi trabaho so that is the down, down, downside of group cohesiveness so usahay Kung nindot ang pagkada, aning trust and confidence, nindot ang performance. Pero kung bati pagkada, kay mo low down po ang group performance. And the second is the group ability. Kaya bang group ability is the kung unsay kaya sa imong mga kagrupo. So usahay kung unsay kaya sa uban, affected po ang performance. Kung kasagaran ninyo kamao, bright aning butanga, and then you are working, although ikaw dili kay kaya nga nakamaayo, pero... Kung na kayo kauban nga maayo kay mo trabaho, murag mo increase po imuhang performance. That's why ma-uplift po ang imuhang abilidad. So that is the importance kaya nung kinahang lang tag-ubang tao. No? Kaya naman sila yung strength, nga dilit ni mo strength. O, o naapod sila yung mga ginabuhat nga tanaw ni mo, di ni mo kayang buhaton. Pero kung tuduan ka, makaya ni mo. So that's the positive effect of of having a group. So the third is the personality of the group members. So Usahay, kung nagtrabaho na ta, natin mga personality differences nga usahay di ta kasabot kung unsa ang buot di pasabot sa sa atong kauban no. Kay usahay kung na ay problema, usahay ma-affected man po ang emotion sa imong kauban. So, that's why usahay kung problematic ang grupo, ang performance ma-affected. If the group is nindot ang ilahang emotional capacity, meaning mo, in, mo level up on ilang performance. So, the fourth one is the communication structure. Unsa the way makig istorya inyong kagrupo. So, na may uban no nga, kung open ang communication, nindot kayo ang grupo. Kay murag chill lang ba or happy lang. Pero kung ang ang boss or yung mga kauban, dili kayo open, dili kayo in ana, kajali sa trabaho, murag Ikaw po, murag ma-intimidate po ka, makikisturya kay mama po ni ang ilahang communication structure. So, murag na siya boundary, na siya babag sa inyohang, kung ano, sa inyohang pag-build sa inyohang grupo. So, the fifth is the group role. So, kung unsay trabaho sa usa, okay, so kung unsay trabaho sa grupo, kung sa'yo maka-affected man po na sa group performance, especially kung, kung sa part of kung part ka sa grupo no tapos ikaw na lang po daghan kayong trabaho murag dili balance ba ang imuhang ang task nga gihatag so mana usahay ma-affected na po ang group performance because kung group gani pareha mo padulungan pero what if lahi-lahi mo 
lahi-lahi mo og plano, lahi-lahi mo padulngan, kanang usahay uh, maglisod ka og perform well, especially kung tanaw ni mo tanaw ni mo dili na dili na uh, maayo or dili na kayo nindot ang inyuhang relasyon sa usag-usa, that's why mag maglisod na kag communicate or open up sa imong kaugalingon. Okay, so the sixth one is the presence of others. Kana bang mga ta, kung kinsa imong mga kauban, right? kung kinsa imong mga kauban, maka-apikto po na sa imong performance, isip part sa usa ka grupo. So, ingon diri is na ako ni social facilitation. So, what does it mean? Unsay pasabot anang social facilitation? Kana bang kuna kay ka grupo, kung i kutudluan ka, mas mo maayo pa ka. Right? sa mga butang labaw na sa mga butang nga dili ka maayo then ila kan tudluan mura miba kun tudluan ka nindot kay mo feeling so manang usahay no kung ingon kag social social facilitation if kun tudluan ka sa imong boss kun tudluan ka sa imong kauban mura you are confident sa mga butang nga imong gitrabaho so that's why we need others to lift lift us up so that is the purpose of social facilitation how about inhibition social inhibition so when you talk about social inhibition kana bang ma intimidate na ka sa presensya sa ubang tao you feel in- intimidated to do the things nga tan-aw nimo imuhang trabaho kay na man ang ubang tao okay so mana siya duha ra ko ni paingna na to if we if if na ang ubang tao, especially kung naay mong boss, it's either ma-inspire ka to do your best or mahadlo ka mubuhat sa sa mga butang kay naay gatanaw nimo. Okay, so the seventh is the individual dominance. So kung naay grupo, kung naay grupo nga murag very aggressive, tanaw nimo they are very dominant nga musturya o grabe kayo confidence level so sa high ma affected pod ang group performance ana nindot man siya nga feeling nga nakay kauban nga very aggressive very open very expressive sa tan-aw niya nga sakto but ah uh, nindot siya na siya positive na po siya negative kung grabe ka uh, kung grabe ka dominante ang atong mga kauban ng atong mga kagrupo sa high dili ta comfortable mo trabaho or dili na ta mutingog sa atong pagsabot nga sakto kay sila na may nagistorya <laughs> okay so man siya usahay makaapekto sa ato ang performance okay the last one is the group think so when you talk about group think kana bang kung unsay gyunahuna sa grupo maopod ato ang hunahunaon okay so murag kinahanglan ta mo follow sa ilahang plano kay maman pud ang ilahang gyunahuna nga plano para sa ato ah. So it can affect our group performance. It can really affect our group performance especially if if new pa ka no, di pa kay comfortable expressing yourself. Murag mo sabay-sabay lang jud ka sa dagan sa panahon or mo sabay-sabay lang ka kung sa ilang plano because you think nga because you think nga mas mas sakto sila. Kay mas una pa man sila nimo compare compare sa sa imo ha so you really feel that mas masakto ang ilahang plano yang ilang ginahuna because nagstay na sila longer compare sa imo ha okay and it really affects our group performance okay so mausab jud mausab ang imong panghunahuna or magusahay na lang siya negative side kay in, in, instead of instead of mo share paunta ka sa tanaw ni mong sakto pero tungod kay na nasila yun na huna din alang ka mo share so di na ka maging open minded ba magdepende na lang ka sa ilaha so that is the downside of group think okay so next uh, subtopic no nga akong i-discuss is individual versus group performance so take note ha kung kung kumingon kag manarbaho na ta soon dapat naadyo kay mga kagrupo na kay kauban okay so what is the difference between individual versus group performance so when you talk about individual ikaw ra usa mang tagtrabaho you are not interacting with other people but when you talk about group performance you are interacting with other people 
you are interacting and solving problem with other people. So, man, asya, kumingon kag, you are doing it alone or you are not interacting with other people, you are called nominal group. But if you are interacting with other people, you are called interacting group. Kaya ga interact man ka. Okay, so, so that is the, that is the difference no, between the two. So, now nga, nahuman na tanong that you have an idea what is, what is the importance of group, unsay mang unsay, unsay kinahanglan na itong masabtan sa grupo, no, before we can call ourselves part of the group. Okay, so now let's focus on group behavior. Okay, do, do you think na abay kasi klase nga pamatasan ang atong mga kauban? Okay, so this, this is, the answer is simply yes. Because we have different upbringings, we have different lifestyle, we have different thoughts. So, it's obvious nga at some point in our lives na ano yung mga kasi klase nga mga, nga mga behavior at nga itong i-consider. So, the same gihapon ni siya, number one, para matawag ka nga part of the team or part of the group. Dapat na ano kay identification. So, for example, kung sa HR pa ko, na ako ay kagrupo, focus ko sa recruitment and training. Tapos na apod may mga kauban, na focus ana, naghatag og services sa, sa human resources. So, gi-identify na ko akong self na part of the team because I am working sa kana nga, nga team, sa kana nga grupo. Okay, so the second is interdependence. So, interdependence is kina bang mem- uh, team members need and desire the assistance or expertise and opinions of other members. So, may nung tag-interdependence, before kuno ka matawag nga team, is dapat mo share ka sa imong inputs, mo share ka sa imong expertise, mo share ka sa mga butang nga maayo ka. And mutabang po ka sa imong mga kauban. are able to share your expertise, your knowledge, o kung sa butang nga maayo ka for the benefit of the team. Okay? So, next is the power differentiation. Power differentiation. So, in a team daw, uh, members try to decrease power differenti- differentiation. Okay, so meaning, uh, kung naaka sa team, ang mga miyembro daw, Ana, is they try to control ang mga uh, unequal treatment. So, dapat walay dif- diferensya sa to. Uh, dilita, dilita mang daog-daog sa uban. Diba? If, you are, if you are a team player, you treat everyone as equal sa imuha. So, pariyara mo nagtrabaho. So, as much as possible, if you are working in a team, dapat kahibalo ka kung unsay, kung unsay mga butang uh, ihatag sa imong mga kauban. Okay, so the next is social distance. So, in a team daw, members should decrease social distance. So, wala ko noy social distancing kung team player ka. So, you need to you need to provide support, murag friendly nga gestures, kaya na bang kasagaran biya para mahim, murag kalma lang imong pagpanarbaho, no? murag kag team player is, you you call your colleagues uh, casual lang, uh, nicknames, kaya na murag mag chika-chika mo, common view, so murag hindut sa dam feeling kung ang, kung ang treatment sa imong mga kauban ni Ana, that they are very open to you. Okay, so, Next is the conflict management tactic. So, take note ha, in teams, na ano tayo sa high, mga conflict. But, ato, let's try to manage our conflict. So, in teams, if you are a team player, members respond to conflict by collaborating. So, ang mga miyembro daw sa team, they manage conflict by collaborating, by expressing their views in a very kuan lang, kalma lang, or instead of argument, they are brainstorming to, to, to know what is the best thing to do. Okay, so that is conflict management tactics. So if you are a good team player, you know how to handle manage team conflict. You know how to handle on mga problema because we have a lot of conflicting mga arguments, no? but we need to meet halfway Kung unsay sakto, kung unsay mas maayong buhaton sa atong pagpanarbaho. Okay, the next is the negotiation process. So in teams daw, 
members should learn how to negotiate or to know kung saan ang win-win solution. No? Kaya bang, ah sige, kung ato ning buhaton man ay mahitabo, na ay positive. Kung kani pura tong buhaton, na po siya positive. So, unsa may mas maayong buhaton. So, it's a win-win solution. So, dapat we should learn how to negotiate, to 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 meet halfway o kung siya saktong buhaton. If you are a team player, kahit balo ka, dili ka dali-dali, mo, mo decide sa usa ka butang no, nga na ay uban masacrifice. So, murag, Magkig, magkandak pa kag meeting just to explain to them the your 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 concept ma ma explain ni mo nga dapat mo niya tong buhaton if you will do this na ay positive if you will do that na apud siya mahitabo so what is the best thing to do so that is negotiation process okay okay so there are four types of teams okay so Kung manarbaho na ta, so na siya four types of teams. We have the work teams, the parallel teams, the project teams, and management teams. So let's start with work teams. So employees, kaning mga tao, if you, are, if you belong to the work team, so kaning mga tao is they are more focused on the on work management, uh, assigned jobs, plan schedule, work, muhatag og mga decisions para sa company and trying to solve problems. So, muna ay lahang focus, no? They are more focused on creating work or mga jobs sa mga tao. So, mura-mura ni siya HR po, no? They know how to manage themselves, asa sila ma-assign, asa sila ibutang. So, muna siya ang ilang focus if you, if you belong to the work teams. So, when you talk about parallel teams is Muna siya cross, cross-functional team. So, when you talk about cross-functional teams, murag, you interact with with various departments. Kana bang, kung ako, parallel teams, kung na- nakoy team nga ako, ah, mo contact kong laing department or mo coordinate kong laing department. So, mura siya nakoy interaction sa laing department. Okay, so na ay mga representative sa laing department, kung ako'y leader, uh, na ako ko'y team na dili na ako ka-department. Tua siya sa laing department, naka-assign, but part siya sa akong team. So, gitawag na siya og parallel team. Okay, so the next team is the project teams. So, kaning project teams is sila po ang nag, naka-assign no, kung mga new project, so mga mag-install, sa po kung na ay new software, new product, or new services. So, sila ang muhuman, ana. So, they are called the project team. So, na mga bagong ikuan ng company, sila ay mag-start, ana. Okay, so, the management team. So, management team, sila ang mu coordinate muhatag instruction sa sa, company, sa employee. So, sila ang muhatag po advice or direct employees unsa saktong buhaton sa ilang trabaho so in short kumingon tag a uh, work teams parallel teams project teams they are all uh the responsibility is to it's to accomplish a particular goal pero when you talk about management teams the responsibility is to give directions and assistance so again, mayon tag work, work teams, parallel teams, project teams. Ang ilang main goal is to produce the services or to accomplish the, the project or to work the the task. While the management teams is they are the ones um giving direction or they are the ones giving assistance para mupadayon ang project. Okay, so pero the question is. Why teams, nga na kuno ang mga teams, doesn't always work? Why is it that, lagi it's, we are part of the team, but why is it, dili siya maayo, dili maayo ang working environment kung naka sa team? So, there are a lot of reasons, there are a lot of reasons why teams doesn't always work. Number one is because the team is not a team. So, what does it mean? Kanang, part ka na nga team, but, you are not included sa sa planning, you are not included sa mang, sa unsay unsay saktong buhaton, mura ra sunod-sunod ba. So dili ka maka feel that you are part of the team because you are not included, especially kung naay mga plans. Okay? So 
wala ni mo na build ang sense of belonging na sa imong team. The second is excessive meeting requirement. So usahay, yui. Kahang itag meetings no, so mo na usahay imbis na kaplano na ang team nga man yung buhaton because of the ah uh, usa na oi uh, demand sa trabaho that you need to attend the meeting usahay ma ma putol or ma hamper ang nakaplan unta sa team nga mao ni trabaho kun. So excessive meaning sobra na kaayo nga sobra na kaayo nga pag pagkanda ko mga meeting requirements. So the third one ngano ang mga teams dili siya mo work as as efficient or as effective sa nga, sa atong pagpanarbaho. The third one is the lack of empowerment. So meaning kung part ka sa team, if you lack empowerment, so wala kay tingog sa kaning project or wala dili ka istorya sa imuhang plano, manang usahay dili siya nindot Diba? Dili siya nindot na feeling because you lack empowerment and you don't believe sa imuhang kakayanan. You don't believe. And then ang imong team is dili po dunggun sa uban nga team. So usahay maka usahay makaingon ka, why gamit ang teams ang team nga na anak ko. It's because ang imong tingong wala na dunggan sa uban. So murag wala ni mo na feel nga you are, that your team is, yung exist siya sa company. Okay, the fourth one is the lack of skill. So, kung gigrupo lang mo ana for the sake nga na ay grupo pero wala kay abilidad, wala kay skill, wala kay kakayanan, meaning makaingon ka it's useless to be part of this team. Because wala man kay mabuhat because ang im ang yung skill is is not aligned sa sa team nga naa ka. So, dapat daw before ka ma, mabutang ana nga team, dapat you have ang strength ninyo is pareha para you will share a common goal. Para kung naay project, it's easy for you to accomplish something because you, kibalo ka, you know that you have that skill, the ability to perform the task. Okay, the fifth one is the distrust of the team process. So, ingon nila nga, why salig ang imo mga kagrupo no? Murag dili ijud lalim, mo trabaho ka sa trabaho on nga mismo yung mga kauban walay salig ni mo so murag makapa downgrade or you feel sad ganong ganong ingana ang imuhang ganong ingana ang feeling okay so distrust of the team process and unclear objective so kung ang objective sa kaninga project walay klaro glibug sa gaon sa pagperform so dapat kung nakay team nakay nakay klaro nga direction or nakay klaro nga objective on how you will perform the task given to you. Dapat clear objective, not unclear objectives. Okay. So let's talk about group conflict. Do you know nga, as part, as part of being humans, no? as long as nagtrabaho ka, nag-interact ka sa ubang tao, there's always conflict. There is always a potential for conflict. Why there is conflict? Because... Ang imong pagsabot sa kaninga trabaho lahi man sa pagsabot sa ubang tao. That's why there is conflict. There's a potential of conflict especially kung bago pa ka ng trabaho or even if dugay na ka ng trabaho there's always conflict. Conflict sa ato ang plano, conflict sa the way ta mo trabaho o conflict pod sa atong una-una. Take note in a survey 85% of employees said that they experience conflict in their jobs. So, 85%, ha? And then, 22% of employees said nga ning absent sila sa trabaho because of the conflict. So, daghan jud ka ayog negative effect ang conflict, no? Di nakaganahan mo duty. And then, di ka, di ka willing mo share sa mong expertise because of the conflict. So take note, in psychological perspective, conflict is considered the psychological and behavioral reaction to a perception that another person is keeping you up from, a reach, from reaching a goal. So in short, when you talk about conflict, mana siya ay imuhang perception sa mga butang. It is your psychological and behavioral reaction based sa imuhang perception. Mana ang usahay kung may perception, magkagubot jud no because we have different perceptions in life we have different perspective so depende na na nimo ang nakaproblema lang tungod sa conflict especially kung nagtrabaho na ka 
it keeps you away from reaching your goal because of the conflict. Di nakaganahan mo duty, di nakaganahan mo trabaho, or absent na kapirmi sa mong trabaho. So, it keeps you away from reaching your goal. Okay, so, it is important to note that the, uh, the concept, it is important to note the key components to conflict is perception. So, ang pinaka-main reason nga nung magkaaway ta, it's because of perception, nothing else. Okay, sa trabaho, naman yun tayo, the way we interpret things, the way we do our work, we have our own perception. So, there are three types of conflict. We have the interpersonal conflict, interpersonal, nakig-away ka sa ubang tao, that is interpersonal. Right? So, muna siya usahay. This is between two individuals na ako o ikaw nag-away ta. It is considered interpersonal conflict. The second is the group or the individual to group conflict. So, this occurs when the individual needs are different from the group needs. Okay, so meaning, kaning individual to group conflict, for example, ako, nagtrabaho ko, ang akong panginahanglan nun is dili match sa unsay panginahanglan nun sa grupo. In short, this occurs when individuals' needs are different from the group's needs. Okay, kung sa akong kinahanglan nun, as a person, as an individual, wala mahatag or lahi sa panginahanglan nun sa grupo. So, muragulay support system sa akong panginahanglanon. That's why there is conflict. Okay? The third is the group-to-group -group conflict. So, away ta, mag-away ta. This occurs between two or more groups. So, meaning, duha na ka-grupo ang nag-away. Manang usahay no, ka nang mag-meeting ba? Suppose, especially in proposing budget, no? Kasagara na dyan mag-away. Daghang grupo mag-away because of the budgeting. So, man siya, group to group conflict. So, kung ikaw ra, huwag ang grupo nga panginahanglan nun, that is individual to group conflict. Okay, so what are the causes of conflict? Nga nang mag-away man yun ang tao. Okay, take note that number one reason is na ay competition. We encounter conflict because of the competition for resources. Na akay gusto nga kwaon pero di mahatag na kay unta ihatag sa imuha pero gihatag sa ubang tao there there is competition no sa pagpanarbaho nato na jay mga competition biya nga ma, nga ama encounter nato the second is task interdependence ang ubang tao the reason nga no mag-away sila it's because ang ubang department ang uban nga, tra, nga trabaho gihatag na lang sa im, sa imuha tanan ang uban wala na ning gitrabaho so parihara mo sweldo Pariharo mong swildo pero grabe ka dependent ang uban sa imuha. Ka imo na lang giako tanan. So again, there is conflict. And the third reason nga nang naay conflict it's because naay jurisdictional ambiguity. Walay klaro nga boundary kung asa ra ka kutob mo trabaho. Right? Walay border, walay border pass. So, manang usay mag-away ang mga tao sa pagpanarbaho tungod kay nag-ilog na sa trabaho or ang usa na sobraan sa trabaho, ang usa wala na pwede trabaho. So that is jurisdictional ambiguity, libog kung unsay imuhang trabaho on or dili. Okay? Kay kung mukuha po kag daghang trabaho, may nga pwede mong kauban, huy, wala na akong gitrabaho diri, mo nang gikuaan. So, mana siya nang dapat maklaro na siya to avoid conflict. The fourth is the communication barrier. So, kaya na ba ang maglisod kag istudya si mong kauban na ay barrier? Well, dili open in your communication. Murag, kuan kaayo ba? Limited ang communication. That's why na ay conflict. Kaya tungo di ka mo istudya, huwag siya kasabot nga, nasakita na dahil ka o nag naglagot na ka niya. So, nagtuwa siya, okay na ka, pero deep inside you are not okay. So, muna siya gitawag na communication barriers. The fifth is personality. So take note, we have different personality, you know. Lailahi juta. So, manang usahay kung manang magmanarbaho na mo po hon is you need to meet halfway. You need to understand the feelings of other person o feelings po ninyo para walay barrier sa inyohang communication. Because communication barriers is considered as one of the reasons why we encounter conflict. Okay, so there are a lot of conflict conflict styles. So, kani mga technique ni mga technique sa mga tao para para ma-avoid ang conflict. 
Okay, number one is the avoiding style. Ako, I tend to avoid, no? Conflict. Manang di ko mo entertain ng mga negative. So, I am one of them. Avoiding style. So, I try to avoid conflict. I try to neglect conflict and then move on. I don't entertain conflict. For me, it's a waste of time. Pero, if I can turn conflict into something productive or something nga mas ma-brainstorm pa sila, why not? Okay, so that is the idea of avoiding style. I am one of them. The second is the accommodating style. Na ay uban nga, siya rin tigdawat sa mga conflict. No? <laughs> siya rin, siya rin, sige, sige rin siya tando kung na mga way niya. Okay, tanan, tanan ng mga nasuko niya. Iyang paminaw, yung entertain to the extent nga siya mismo na sakitan na. So, dili po maayo, no? Magsige tag-accommodate sa mga conflict. Kaya, dili po na pwedeng mahimu lang ang accommodating style because what I bow that we are already affected and sakitan na ta. The third one is the forcing style. So, na ubang mga tao, the only way to 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 fight or to to force conflict or to kung nga mas mugrabi ang conflict, no? Is the win-lose style. The forcing, kena bang apa ah, mahala na mo, basta ako mo niya akong plano. Right? So meaning, I'll take everything just to win. Forcing style ni sila ha? I'll take everything just to win. Le- Di na ko magunahuna sa ubang tao. Okay, this is, for me, this is makakost po ni siya conflict. Kaya na makakabaw maminaw. You don't care the feelings of other person. That's why, kaya kag naglagot ni mo. And the fourth one is the collaborating style. Collaborating style, mo ni siyang itawag the win-win solution. Sa company, mas ganahan na sila win-win solution. Di sila ganahan when to lose. Dapat win-win lang. So, ato ding buhato, this is the positive. And ato ding buhato, mo ni mahitabo. So, let's meet halfway. What is the best thing to do? That is the collaborating style. Ako, ganahan ako mo collaborate. But normally, kung napungot na jud ko, I'll try to avoid <laughs> avoiding style. Okay, so the fifth is the compromising style. So when you talk about compromising is you learn how to give and take. So na siya give and take relationship, no? The murag, muhatag ka sa ilahag, muhatag ka pabor sa ilaha, pero dili po ni mo ihatag ta ng pabor sa ilaha. So muhatag ka, pero na po kay kwaon ka may pod para sa inyo, ha? So murag give and take relationship. Dili ta na ihatag, na po kay kwaon something for you. Okay, so those are the conflict styles nga possibly makaw na huna sa kasi mong self nga huwing anak di ako. Right? So that is the idea of conflicting styles. So how can we resolve conflict? So since uh, experiencing conflict is is inevitable, especially in, in a company, so we need to try to resolve our conflict. So in every company, na nasla mga technique, no? na like conflict management, so how to handle conflict. So, if you will become a boss later on, so, dapat aware ka sa, sa policy, sa formal policy on how to handle conflict. If kaya ninyong i-resolve sa nga kamukha mo lang, then try to resolve it. So, mana siya, no? Para di na mo grabe, mo, mo grabe, mo aggravate ang conflict, dapat i-address na siya. Okay? So, na ay mga... Uh, management, uh, conflict management style. Kung di jud mami now is let's try to do the third party intervention. So manang usahay mo duol na sa HR just to address uh, some issues nga usahay kung naakay conflict conflict issues no within the company it may hamper your performance as an individual as well as a group performance. Okay? So I hope you are learning from this video Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again for my lesson 6 in the subject of industrial psychology. Okay, so if you if you need my help in terms of your assignment, so please see my uh, please see below na asha sa description box so you can just email me or chat me so I'll respond to you immediately. Thank you so much and I'll see you again for my next video.